in this SOLIDWORKS tutorial we will be making this combination wrench this SOLIDWORKS tutorial is important because it will provide you a great sketching exercise so let's begin so first select file click on new select part and then click ok change the background to plain white right click on the front plane and click on sketch so drop down this line menu select the center line here trace this midpoint and make a center line that crosses this midpoint press escape button select this ellipse click on this origin click in this environment and make an ellipse like this now select the center line and from origin to this quadrant make a center line select again a center line and again from origin to this quadrant of the ellipse make a center line again now select the line and from this point to this point make a line we will define it select this line press the control button select this line and from here make the parallel relation this one okay and now select this point press the control button and select this circle and make this coincident relation this one and here you can see they are combined now now select the smart dimension select this line select the center line and make the distance between them as 12.5 millimeter and now select the two end points of this line this one this one and make the length of this line as 20 and now select this point of the ellipse this point of the ellipse and make the distance between these two points as 55 similarly select this point of the ellipse this point and make the distance as 50 millimeter okay and now select this line and this center line and set the degree between these as 17 the angle between these as 17 degree now it's time to mirror the entities so select this mirror entities select this line and may in mirror about window select this line okay and now we have to select the three point arc so drop down this menu and select the three point arc from here select this point this point and click on this environment here and now select the smart dimensioning tool smart dimension so this is going to be 12.5 okay now select the trim entities and trim these inside arcs okay so this sketch is done and now we have to move to the other one drag this point a little bit more and now select the circle and make the circle at this point now select the smart dimensioning tool and specify the diameter of the circle as 33 millimeter okay now select this hexagon and at this center mix the cursor in vertical di direction and make a hexagon select an another hexagon and this time move the cursor in this horizontal fashion at this center line and make another hexagon select smart dimension tool select this side this side of the hexagon and specify 25 similarly select the opposite hexagon 
this one and this one and specify 25 okay so now it's time to trim the entity select the trim entities and trim this inside lines one by one so i am increasing the speed of this video from here so you have to trim all of these lines one by one and now select the smart dimensioning tool from this point to this point set the distance as 240 millimeter select the line command and avoid this yellow color quadrant select this point at the circle and this point at the circle make a straight line at 0 or 180 degree select smart dimensioning tool from these two lines set the distance as 10 and now we have to mirror the same line so select mirror entities from here in this window select this line and in this window mirror about this dotted line and here you can see the yellow uh, yellow line that is mirrored so now we have to define some relations so select this point press the control button select this circle and make relation as this co coincident similarly make the same relation on the other side select this point select this circle and make that same relation this one okay so now simply exit this uh, sketch select this sketch and select extruded boss base now select this inner sides specify here mid plane and extrude it up to 10 millimeter check this box now drop down this uh, extruded boss select this sketch and select the extruded boss base again specify the length of extrusion as 6 make sure you have specified mid plane and this time select this sketch check this box and now it's time to make some fillets so select the fillet and here specify 30 select this line this line and the line at the opposite direction this one and uh, we have to make 20 mm fillet on this side because this side is a little bit thinner select this line and here specify 20 rather than 30 check this box select here normal to select this face click on sketch and select this convert entities exit the sketch from here and now in sketch option select this offset entities select this upper line and uh, here specify 5 mm check the box box of reverse and here you can see this sketch has appeared and now in features you have to select the extruded cut command drop down this window here and in this window you have to select this inner surface only make sure that you have selected 1 mm as depth of extrusion and select blind and then check this box so this cut has been made and now select the fillet command 
select this line specifier 3 mm and select all of these four lines in this rectangle and this fillet has been created and now we have to mirror this same feature on the other side features to mirror you have to specify last two commands and then check this box so same feature has been mirrored in the other face and now select the fillet command again here specify 1 mm for the parameter select this face and these two lines and this other face and check this box so now we are only left with the material so right click here on this material added material and here you can specify anyone i am specifying here chromium stainless steel and then click on apply so we are done with making this combination spanner if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you